you, you think that, oh, there's no way the Quakers could have lost this game, but they lost it by two touchdowns to boot. Very confusing just to look at that one. Sheer hands off to Tom Rebstock. Rebstock has some room, puts his foot in the ground and crosses over the 40-yard line. Ball's on the ground. Navy saying that they have it. And it is the midshipman coming up with it at the 44-yard line. The first turnover of this game belongs to Navy on second and eight. Play action. Atwood over the middle, complete. Has his man once again, Stumpf, looking. End zone, and he's forced out at the two-yard line. Maybe the one. That'll be a first down, first and goal for Navy. That's great play design by Navy. They had all their receivers, except for Stumpf, flood to the right side of the field. He took a drag route and in route across the middle and had plenty of space with everybody else defensively running the opposite direction. Room to run, good throw by Atwood, hit him in stride. Touchdown saving tackle by Kyle Zeitlin. Now a push straight up the gut. Navy says that they're in. Referees do not agree at this point. Until now, touchdown midshipman. Touchdown carry on the keeper. And Brandon Atwood able to find Pater. Navy strikes first. Onside kick, bouncing ball, picked up by Navy, they recover. Wow. Heads up play by the midshipman, Jonathan Swift, pouncing on it for Navy. Well, and they figured out a couple things offensively during the quarter break. They spaced out the field as they're doing again here. Atwood looking deep up the sideline, caught for a completion. Andrew Margiota forced out by Ortiz, and now Navy's off to the races. Looking instead on the fade. Looking, catching, touchdown, Margiota. Ortiz is looking for offensive pass interference, but the 11-yard pitch and catch has Navy in front by two scores. We'll see which of those options they choose here. The shotgun look with three wideouts. Here comes Navy. Oh, they blow that up. Ball's on the ground. Midshipman scoop it up. Running through it is David Niski. All the way in for the score. A scoop and score touchdown for the midshipmen. And that's a deflating play for the Quakers. The defense has been stout all night. You're on a third and short, and to have a turnover like that on a play in your backfield, a, a backbreaker. One more look here on the handoff, the initial pressure. It didn't look like the ball carrier, Andy Folletta, had it cleanly from the initial handoff. And... Niski able to do the rest. It's been a quiet night for him, but a huge moment for him announcing his presence with the defensive touchdown. Play clock down to three. Atwood looking end zone, floating, busted coverage, and a touchdown. Sazaki able to find pay dirt, and Kai Sazaki, the Hunt Valley, Maryland native, make sure that it's not a field goal attempt, but a touchdown. Sasaki with a nice corner out there against the man coverage. A good initial move to get open, and then a pitch and catch by Atwood. 5'11", senior from Gentry, Arkansas. Back to pass. Here comes the pressure. Looking end zone, and it's a touchdown for Sazaki again. Kai Sazaki pouring it on as Navy pushes their lead to 32-0. Extra point pending. 